in between and it's going to come right down to the wire. I think Marodio has a slight edge and he does. 849.07. He ends up winning by a half second. So a little bit left in the tank for Marodio at that final push to the wall. Very comfortable victory. And second place will be a pool and a half behind. But Shaw now coming to the wall and she finishes in 10.40.27. Stags. Stags one, two, three, it looks like. Stuckey in lane one, far end of the pool. It's going to be close, three-way race between three Stags. And we had that exactly inverted as Anderson Brazil closing strong, the all-sky backstroker, 51.87. Barely beats Frank Applebaum in 51.90. And here they come down the home stretch. Evan Didi in lane four. Has a slight lead and looks pretty comfortable at this point. Close race for second up in leans one and two. DD touches in 57.83 and in second in lane one for CMS, Stephen Tran, 59.19. Freddie looking like she wants to fill that void as she has about a body length lead, maybe more. Let's see what the time looks like. It'll be a close battle for a second, but 106.43 is the time. And then CMS also comes in second as Allison Yao finishes in 109.09. We'll see how this stag versus stag battle comes to the finish line. Drew Schmidt will be in third. It's going to be pretty close between the first two stags and I believe in lane four. Indeed, Henrik Bark closes strong. Finishes in 155.32 to win it by 0.3. Wall, but coming to the finish line, Sun Young Byun will take this one by half a pool length. Just a dominant performance from Sun Young Byun. She touches the wall in 207.32. Close race for second. Looks like Wells has a slight lead as the Athenas will go 1 2. Wells touches and goes. It looks like Mayfield with a slight lead, but in lane one, Madeline Kahn. Looks pretty strong, but now she fades a little bit, and it looks like Mayfield in lane four will take this one for CMS with a 24.50. So Semino four looks like he might have an arm's length lead, but hard to tell, and Semino actually gets edged out by Drew Schmidt, and it's by point two nine or one nine. So Schmidt ends up with a decent sized win in lane seven. How strong he closes. He's used to closing strong, winning the 200 fly at Nationals two years in a row. And here he's about to do the same in the backstroke to edge out his own teammate in a close one. 156.13 to 156.32. Just a little behind at that turn as they come down the home stretch. Neck and neck between Stuckey and Galligan. Might just be who can reach first between the two of them. And it ends up, Stuckey wins it 210-91. He wins it by eight hundredths of a second over Galligan. I don't want to give up the lead, so they're coming down to the final touch of the wall. And we'll see which one has a little more left in the tank. It's Lang in four. And Brazil in seven, separated by just one-tenth of a second. It's Lucas Lang, 441-46. Cap off this 500-yard freestyle victory for the Athenas. And we'll see what her final time is. 5.15.94, a good solid time for the first year distance swimmer for CMS. But she made the podium last year. So it's a close race. Mayfield looks like she has a little bit of a lead in lane four and she indeed will take this one. Mackenzie Mayfield swims this one in in 56.86. It's Henrik Bark 
on his way to the victory. Bark in lane four, comes to the wall, and he touches in 407.97. 500 and the 400 IM. That's a tough double dip. But Schmidt with the flip. And looks like she'll take this one home in lane one. 407.97. 